Okay. It is 10.37 in the morning. It is Tuesday. What is it? September 12th. <sighs> Am I really doing this? This is new. Hey y'all, it's Lenise Ariel. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, we're gonna try weekly vlogging this week. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so we've already been assigned with the first task and that is to pick my mom and grandma up from the airport. I don't know where they came from. Where did they come from? They came from somewhere. I think it was like Oklahoma, I don't know. Don't know, don't care. All I know is that I'm about to take my mom's car because of course she left it here and use her gas to go pick her up, okay? Put this damn handicap sticker on, let the people know, okay? The handicap is coming through. She said they're ready, <laughs> and, I, and I barely just, where's the brakes on? And I'm just not leaving the house, I'm 20 minutes away. Well, at least they didn't have to pay for Uber, they wait that 30 minutes, okay? from the airport not too long ago. Picking them up was a success, but now I think that I'm gonna get my windows tinted today on my car, and then I'm also gonna get a dresser from either Ikea or Walmart, whichever one is better quality and like is cheaper because I gotta save money. And also, the reason I need to get a dresser is because I basically don't have a room, so I don't have a dresser. I'm literally living outside of my suitcase in a laundry bin. So I need to get a dresser to put it in my closet that I have. I don't have a room, but first we're gonna get ready. We're gonna get cute and let's make a smoothie before we do that though. This, this is crazy. This is really good. Game changer. Time to taste test. And I already know this is gonna hit because I made it before, but. Mm. I love fruit. This mainly tastes like mango with a little bit of banana because it is mango with just a little bit of banana. But if you don't like mangoes, which I know some people that do, your tongue is just dirty. Like, <laughs> how do you not like mangoes? They're so good. Okay, so I already explained to you guys what I needed to do, but I also am on a time crunch. So it is currently, what time is it right now? I need to charge my phone. It's 12.03 right now, right? I need to be done with everything and back home by four because at four, my mom's gonna be back home and then we're gonna go to Greensboro to go visit my sister. Oh my gosh. We need some crocheting, <laughs> crocheting done. I'm gonna crochet that, okay? That's irritating me. I didn't realize how thin that was until just now. We're going to Greensboro at four, so I need to be Back from Ikea, hopefully have my windows tinted by four. What else? I feel like I need to do something else. I need to get another Sims card. So the Sims card that I have is the 256 gigabytes. I need another one of that. And this one lasted pretty long, only because I don't be filming like that. So I think that I'm gonna get either two, depending on how much money I've spent already. So that's gonna be the very last thing that I do because it's not top priority. I have about three hours left on this Sims card, right? I mean, I think I could film this week's vlog with those three hours, right? But I still wanna get a new one so I don't have to worry about it later on. I think I'm gonna put lashes on. I really, see, this is how you know. <laughs> I really be pay, like playing into the the system that is just not fair, but at the same time, it's like if I'm if I could get stuff done for a cheaper price because I look pretty, 
I'm gonna do that. If anything, it shouldn't be more than $150, $200 regardless, but like if they could do it for a hundred, I'm gonna see if I can get them to do that. I already washed my face, but when I get ready to do my makeup, I like to moisturize my face again. We're doing light concealer, because I did light concealer the other day. And I look the same upset my dark marks were gone, so. I think I wanna go for that look again. There's nothing else to say. This is kind of weird. I actually like this though. I like um, the feeling of vlogging. I noticed though, I need to stop saying I so long, but I noticed though that I am not, see, I did it again. I noticed that I am not shy when it comes to filming in public. It's actually not embarrassing. That's how you know that I really like progress as far as like filming and like content lifestyle creation stuff. My sister tried to take mirror pictures at the mall the other day. And I was like, girl, just take the picture. I promise you nobody cares. And literally nobody cares. So I was taking my pictures. She was over here being shy. Like, bro, it's not that serious. Okay. You know, I said just now that I was gonna do a light concealer. This is not that light. Okay, this is like full concealer. But it doesn't matter because it's gonna be cute anyways. I think I wanna watch Bird Lizzie's, so. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to y'all when I'm done. I really think that there was a point in my life where recently where I didn't feel confident in my natural beauty. I actually felt like I needed at least some mascara to look cute. But like looking at myself in the past like few weeks, I really feel pretty without makeup. Bare face beauty, okay? Because I think when people outwardly express I don't know if that made sense. When people consistently outwardly express to you that you look good, you literally start to see yourself that way. And I really love that I'm starting to see myself that way because at my job, I am in a lot of people's face, unfortunately. I'm not that social, but you know, I gotta get my money, right? So literally I'm getting compliments pretty much every single day, at least once or twice, at least. Um, it's usually a lot though, cause yeah, I know it's my job, but like I like to put effort into when I go out. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with if you don't, but like me personally, I just like to because I do feel better about myself when I put effort into how I look when I go out. So the fact that people consistently tell me that I look pretty makes me feel very pretty and when I wake up in the morning like even with my bare face when I wake up in the morning and I put some moisturizer on get the crusties out my eyes I feel very good about myself I feel very pretty like I literally felt so pretty this morning um before I went to go get my mom and grandma I I love that I love the progress I wish I could feel that way every day um, even when nobody compliments me, like see myself instead of other people seeing me first. But we're taking baby steps right now, okay? I feel great right now. I feel really good. I'm on my period, so I'm surprisingly I feel good. Who is she? <laughs> I am so pretty. Anyways, we're in the room where I keep my closet. Oh my gosh, look at my closet. Is this even a closet? Ignore the mess. We're gonna fix that sometime this week. I just need to worry about getting the dresser first. So here's my purses. Here's my, this is the suitcase. And then this is my laundry bin. Um, it's a mess, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Right now, we're gonna worry about me finding an outfit. I think all my clothes are out of the, yeah, they are. Okay, the clothes that I wanna wear are not even in the, thing which is good i want to wear shorts today i got this very pretty green like when i tell you my favorite color is green this is the green that i'm talking about this was from the men's section at h&m and then i'm gonna wear these jean shorts and then we're gonna put some sneakers on we're gonna accessorize we're gonna put some jewelry on and we're gonna look cute so i'm gonna come back to you guys when i get dressed because i still want to listen to berlizzi at the moment Somehow I get the feeling you were with someone until a week. Damn you, Brian. Can you get out of my business? I pay my rent. Goodbye. You know what I'm saying? What a waste. What a waste. Good for proactive protection. Tired <sighs> of these damn Android commercials. I'm never switching. So, 
glossy gloves on. Is this nigga serious? Play games. Who is this giant? Damn. Good lord. Jeez. Let's see what hairstyle I want to do. Honestly, I wish I could do a bun so bad, but oh my goodness. I cannot. I will do a low bun though. I did moisturize my hair a little bit earlier, but we're going to spray my hair with this moisturizing mist that Netter Natural sent to me. And I love this mist so much. I like putting stuff on as though it's my last time using it because at the very least, if something happens to me, my hair was moisturized. Okay, this is the final look. I think that I'm going to put these glasses on though because this... This is really look okay but yeah ready we're getting ready to go let's let's go let me change my battery for my camera because my camera already about to die let's head out because i only really have three hours now to go to like two three different places and then be back home by four <sighs> i don't like this lighting but i'm doing what i can work with okay it looks better Ooh. this doesn't look stable Okay, I, I will end up needing a, a new tripod. I mean, uh, the tripod that's actually supposed to be on the dashboard because this is too wiggly. I don't like it. It's ghetto, but I was trying to be cheap. Let's put the windows down because I really need the air. I mean, I really need my car to air out because, you know, for, for legal purposes, I need my, in my car to air out. I mean, it's convenient, but at the same time, ooh, the jiggle, bro, the jiggle. I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna go the first stop this is so ghetto. It's literally leaning. It's it's literally, you see the jiggle? Ah! That's what my butt be like when I twerk. But I'm gonna just focus on getting to Ikea and then I will talk to you guys when I get there. Okay? Okay. Okay, I just got to Ikea. I haven't recorded myself with a camera in public, I don't think yet. So I don't know if I'm nervous. I don't think I'm nervous. I think that I'm usually pretty fine when it comes to public spaces and vlogging. But we'll see. I'm trying to look for we're in the house decor stuff area, but I'm not in the right section. I need to go to the section where they have the dressers, so I guess the like room stuff. But I'm in the area where they have the living room stuff. But it's really pretty in here. Like I love like this. Is how you know you're getting older when you just enjoy looking at places that look like this and like adult things. It's just like, ooh, almost fell. This brings me so much peace. I'm glad it's a Tuesday because at least it's not crowded up in here and these people watching me vlog. The workers are definitely like seeing me vlog, but there's not a lot of like people in here. So it's not as bad as it could be, but it is still a little bit, you know, out there. I live in North Carolina and people do not vlog over here, so. This is kind of new. I'm gonna show you when I get to where I need to go because really I'm just walking and trying to get to the dressers. Oh wait, there's some dressers right here. Ooh, $600. What are plastic dressers? I need a plastic dresser. I do not need, I do not need a full on wooden dresser that I have to build myself, okay? Um, I'm just a girl. Yeah, uh, I'm just a girl. I'm not about to be building stuff, okay? I need to get a man who can do that for me. Hold on. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna be cooking. What y'all want me to cook? Let me stop before they kick me out. This is what I need. I need a full body mirror. Oh, this was the fit. I wish my shirt was a little bit more oversized, but this is size medium and men. Ain't nothing I could do. Honestly, if I just lost some weight, then it would like look the way I want it to look on me, but it is what it is. <laughs> you see, these are picture frames. I don't want to go in here. You know me. I'm antisocial, so I'm not gonna ask an employee where stuff is. I'm just gonna walk the whole building until I find where it, what I'm looking for. If anything, I feel like I might end up still going to Walmart, which is fine. I enjoyed my little cardio in Ikea because you know Ikea big as hell. This is cute. I can't wait till I get my own house, bro. 
I'm running into everything. You won't notice that I'm here, but it's because I keep running into everything. Like, I'm making noise. Yeah, I'm gonna meet y'all in the car if I don't end up finding it. So, I found the drawer that I wanted, the dresser that I wanted at Walmart. This is one. I already put one in the cart, and I'm debating if I should get two. Or if, ooh, not my mom's number on the phone. I'm debating if I should get two or if I should get one. Honestly, I think I'm gonna just get one for now. And then if I need a second one, I'm just gonna get that second one. Why I pull up to the house and the dog is. <laughs> Wayne! What? Oh my gosh. Come here. Come on. Come on. Jump, boy. Stop being lazy. Jump. Oh my gosh. Who left him outside? Where'd my mom go and why did she leave him out? Oh my gosh, here, get out. <laughs> You're doing so much, you're doing a lot. Go. I'm doing weekly vlogs from now on, so next time I see you and I'm, I'm gonna have my camera on me and you can say hi. Hey y'all, this is my friend Joda. I wasn't ready. Hold on, they don't see you yet. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> Boy fixing his beard. What are you trying to look good for? I just want to, you know, I just want to be seen and heard. I know. Anytime I step outside, I just want to be seen. What's going on with nieces and nephews? You know, nieces and nephews. You remember that? I'll be telling you, nieces and nephews is fire. 10 out of 10, in my opinion. I'm going to need 20% though. What? I created the name. <laughs> We did not agree with that. We, we, we didn't agree to that. You can have 20 cents, but I know 20%. We're both black. At this point, I'm just scamming you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm tag you. <laughs> Like 30 minutes later, that was my friend Joda. Y'all are gonna meet him another day. But as of right now, we're just gonna set up my dresser and put my clothes in it and clean up my closet. Let's see if this even fits in the closet. I'm gonna just take everything out for now. That's way better. Let me show y'all. Short, simple, cute, 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 cute. Yeah. I wear like every day. So I'm just going to... Okay, so I finally finished the closet and here is what it's looking like. It's not perfect, but at the very least, I have somewhere to put my clothes. It's easy to access. Here's my laundry bin. It couldn't fit at the side, so I put my purses and stuff at the side. I used to hang my towel up in my closet so that nobody else ends up using it. And then my other purse with miscellaneous things in it. I don't know what I'm doing next. I wanted to go get food with someone, but no, they still didn't text me back. They said they got busy, but it's been like an hour and a half since that text so now it's looking like I'm just gonna go get some food by myself and then low-key though I want to go to the movies I want to see what movies are out if there's a movie out that I want to watch I'm gonna go to the movies and watch that movie um but I'm gonna get food first because your girl is hungry okay honestly I want to go to this Mexican spot that's close to my house and the food be busting and they margaritas be good so I'm gonna go over there Give me a little drinky drink. Give me a little, you know, a little rice, a little, a little quesadilla. You feel me? I promise you, I'll get all that food. The bill's only gonna come up to twenty dollars because their food is not expensive and it's good too. So you know they're gonna get their little tip. <laughs> so I went to this local Mexican spot near my house and 
What's it called? It's called Fiesta Maya. The music is loud as hell, so it's really, I'm not really gonna do too much. Thank you. Okay, so usually when you come in here, they give you some chips and they give you some salsa. I'm only gonna eat a few chips. I just want some actual food right now. I really don't want to eat these chips. I want a strawberry margarita. Whichever one has the most liquor in it, that's what, that's what I want. Oh, and I'm near the ABC store too. I might buy a few shots and then go to the movies. Cause going to the movies drunk, bro. That's a great experience. So yeah, I think the thing that I usually do get is the burrito. I'm gonna get the chicken burrito because I love that. And I'm also gonna get rice. I think that's all I'm gonna get. Just the rice and the burrito. I don't want I don't want anything too heavy because when I took my shots, I need them shots to hit. Are you going? Huh? Are you going? Yeah. Can you post on YouTube? I'm trying to. This is gonna be the first. I want to do a weekly vlog. This is gonna be the first weekly vlog. Thank you. Okay. Can I have a chicken burrito and and rice? The side of rice. Not. Ooh. Thank you. This, they said this is the normal size. Oh my god, it's so big. They got hella ice in it, so. Mm. I think that was good. Okay, my food came. It was super hot. I didn't even touch it yet, but this is the chicken burrito, the rice, and then I asked her for some hot sauce because I like my food spicy. I'm African, so I asked them for the spiciest sauce. You haven't really had real spice until you've got an African spice. African spice? It's a different level of spice. I'm gonna enjoy just chilling by myself. And I'm gonna eat my food and then I'll see y'all back in the farm. Does it good? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I just got out of prison. Just kidding. Just got out of the Mexican spot. Let's go to the liquor store, okay? I need some damn shots. <laughs> I promise I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. I just, you know, I like to drink. So, let's go. I made it to the movies. Uh, the movie started, well, the trailer started 11 minutes ago. I'm gonna give myself until 7.20 to like be in there and seated. But we're gonna take one shot right now. I'm gonna bring the other shot with me. <laughs> the <f> <laughs> I don't know. Testing, testing. <laughs> one, two, three. <sighs> I never thought I would be one of those people. But one thing about me is I'm not setting the camera up pretending I just woke up, okay? I got the camera and we back in bed. Hey y'all, it is the next day. What is today? It is Wednesday, 9.40, 9.34 a.m. I have three hours and so I need to be out of the door going to work. And I hate going to work. I don't think I'm really gonna do anything much this morning, so I might just see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> so, funny thing is, I showered, I was getting ready to go to work, and then I decided I'm not going into work. Like, I was like, hmm, maybe I should go two hours later. I just don't wanna go at all, and I don't think I wanna go back. So now we're unemployed again, because <laughs> working is just not for me. I don't wanna work, I, I really don't. I don't want to, I want to have more time to do this. If anything, like the most I was going to do was get a part-time job at least to just pay off my uh, car note and car insurance and put gas in my car too. And then have t enough money to like live life too. But it's like, I feel like I don't have enough time to live life working 40 hours. How many hours in a week? It's six in the morning. Let's go to the gym. So I ended up not going to work yesterday because I was like, you know what? I don't have time. I, I really don't. Like I, I thought that 
you know, having bills and stuff now would motivate me to stick to a job, but no. I think it's really just working full time that I just can't do. I'm gonna get me a little part-time job that's gonna be able to at least move. A little part-time job that's gonna at least help me be able to pay my bills. I already have money saved up for the next few months for my bills. So I think working part-time should be fine and then also being able to spend money should be fine. And yes, I am one of those girlies that does their makeup to go to the gym because who doesn't want to look sexy while sweating? Exactly. I don't really do much, I just put some blush on, you know, because we like to look rosy. Did I tell you I was like 6.30 in the morning? It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm finally ready for the gym, face, feet. This is my fit, nothing too crazy. Just got my little shorts on, a long sleeve shirt, and the booty. <laughs> the non-existent one, we gonna, we gonna get right. We gonna, we gonna have that summer body by next summer, okay? We didn't make it to the summer. Hey y'all, so I came from the gym, took a shower, washed my booty, and then I ate breakfast. And I was so, like I was literally about to pass out because I was literally running off of, I worked out for two hours and I was running off of a banana and some water. So yeah, now we're back home. I'm getting ready to go ahead and go get my windows tinted. I have the address for the place now. I got it like yesterday, but that's not important. I have the address for the place now. It's probably 20, 30 minutes away. And yeah, I don't know what to wear. I'm debating. I'm going to a basketball game tonight with my sisters. Not a basketball game. I'm going to a football game tonight with my sister. So I'm debating if I want to wear a dress now and then wear some jeans later or if I should wear some jeans now and then wear the dress later. We're going to see how my makeup turns out and then we are going to decide. I'm ready and I feel so cute. I haven't done this hairstyle in months. I haven't really done it for real since my hair was black before I bleached it. So. I did this hairstyle. I tried to do an updo, but I wasn't feeling it, so I did this, and it's cute. I like it. So let's let's hurry up and head out, cause I've been getting ready for like an hour. All right, hold on. Hey, mom. Uh, okay, so I'm back home, and I got the windows tinted. I was a little annoyed, cause I was like, why is it? Why does the car still look very much see through? Of course, like I didn't put anything on the windshield because. Why? no but you can still very much see inside the car but then i didn't realize the back windows are much darker but at the same time i wish that the front windows could be darker because i don't want nobody seeing me in the car so it's like it feels like i just wasted money because nobody's really going to be in my car for real so you know it feels like a waste of money and i spent almost 300 dollars. so i kind of regret it but we move, I guess. I wonder if he, I could ask him to take it off and he could give me my money back because I want my money back. It really doesn't feel like it was worth it at all. So that's why I was gone for like two, three hours because I was annoyed, but I feel better now. But still, that was money that I worked hard for. Say hi to the vloggy vlog. Hey guys. Hey guys. Ooh, redo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, say hi to the vlog. Hey y'all. It's my little sister, Lydia. We're on the way to a varsity football game at her high school. I don't think I'm gonna vlog too much because there's not that much to see, it's just a football game.
I am gonna be late. <sighs> this lighting is so bad. I wanted you guys to see how cute my makeup looks, but I don't have time. I'm really about to be late to go get piercings with my friend. Her point, she set an appointment for seven. I didn't set an appointment, so I don't want to be late for her appointment, but I am going to be late for her appointment, so that kind of sucks, but hopefully they didn't start yet by the time that I get there. This place is 19 minutes away, and it's 6.50. Her appointment is for 7 o'clock, so we're just going to be a little bit late. It's okay. Ooh, what a rollover. Hold over something. Well, it sounded like I did. Hopefully, I didn't. We made it to. What? Oh, this hey is my friend Shauna. Hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> we hey. made it to the piercing shop, and like, yeah, we're, we're late as hell. When were we supposed to get here? We were supposed to get here at seven. I got here at like seven oh eight, and she got here like two minutes ago, and that was at like what seven fifteen? You know, seven like twelve. Hello. Um. That's your person. Piercing? Hold on. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> are you still doing like walk ins too, or are you just taking appointments? I'm doing walk ins. You're doing belly? No, I'm not doing belly. Oh, you're not? My ear. I'll do my ear. Oh, I already have my oh. belly pierced. You didn't know I already have my belly Yes. No. What? I said no, I didn't know. Oh. What do you mean by never mind though? Because I, I told her that we were both getting our Oh, no, no, but, no. I want, um, I'll probably do my ears. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to get these repairs because I let them close because I wasn't taking care of it, so I just took them out. Yes. Ladies raised. <laughs> I identify as a man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Is it okay if I record you or no? Sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> I can order you. Okay, here you go. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be that. Sorry. Oh, that's so cheap. doing now that was like 30 minutes <laughs> what are we doing now i wish i bought my blunt I, I was gonna bring it but i was rushing i have some i have some um yeah i have some in the car i just don't have any let me see i don't know if i have anything to load with uh, let me gas station out. is right across the street they oh. sell they sell backwards over there so, true. so right yeah i have some in the car what you want to do? <laughs> okay. At the um, dealership, so it was like a, um, you know, the, le the only legal right. amount, and she was like, she felt like it's not even, it didn't do nothing for us. Okay, so I feel like I wasted three hundred dollars. If anything, I mean, if, I, if, I didn't if know you could it was still, be that much. like I looked on Google, it was like the range would be from like one fifty to like three hundred dollars, but I was like. I'm not paying $300. It, it was literally Bro, the max. They charged me actually like $20, $30 $20? for that. I was like, 
Nah. The least y'all could have did was told me, and I would have told y'all, don't even worry about it. Literally, like, like, give, you don't gotta <laughs> so do I was that. supposed to pay two thirty. I paid two sixty. What the hell? I know. So like now, I just like I, I felt so annoyed for like straight two hours. I was just like, that, that was too. such a waste of money. And then he was like, don't put your windows down for the next like two days. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. trash. That's what they told wow. me. Wow. Because yeah, yeah I was like, um, just put your AC on. I was like, okay. It's hot, it's hot. Anyways. <laughs> When my, when my friend got hers done at the dealership, she couldn't put hers down for like two weeks. Oh, I was like, I don't keep want the um the one, not the one on the like the the clip, but I want the one. Okay, like, that's the one yeah. I'm seeing. I want the one like on the hood, like above it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. Like uh, that connects oh, that connects oh, the lips. Oh. Yeah, yeah, on the hood. Okay. Yeah. So I want I would I would get that wow. for sure. But not the clip one. That seems very hell like, no sensitive good like you you walk in and then you just good lord like, <laughs> yes That's when i was trying to roll today i was dropping so much what i was so was mad i look you want a tongue piercing but like when i looked up like the healing process and just everything i'm like oh no yeah. three to four weeks for it to heal oh that's not bad which isn't bad but i'm thinking like eating I love yeah, to eat. and then like probably talking weird talking, for the first yes. week or so. They said no oral sex, no kissing or nothing. I said, Ooh. well, damn. What's the point? And then... Y'all, yeah, the last clip was not supposed to like, happen this week, but sadly it did. And this is something that usually occurs every week, maybe every other week. There's never peace in this house. I literally cannot stress enough how difficult it is to live in a toxic household. It's actually crazy. It's very difficult dealing with people who makes it their job to talk down on you to to discredit you for everything you've done to say that oh you need me you wouldn't be anything without me it's very hard to deal with people with that mindset that literally is the main thing that has hindered me from growth in these past few years is dealing with stuff like this i have grown up with these people. I have been raised by these people and I've had to deal with all of this stuff since I was young. It's very hard to deal with that while trying to pursue your dreams. It's very hard to be motivated to do stuff. Like that's why I haven't been consistent. It's because behind the scenes, I've been dealing with this stuff from jump. It's very hard. Like. I've shed all my tears in the past few years. That's why I'm not crying now. But dealing with this is, is, I wish nobody this. Like, it's really annoying. And it, it really be happening for no reason. There's, there was no reason for me to get in an argument with my mom today. There was no reason for her to do the most i don't know and i'm not saying that damn, damn. and i'm not saying that i'm perfect and i'm not saying that i don't do anything wrong because obviously there are things that i do do wrong but at the same time most of the stuff that i deal with i don't deserve i was born into this situation i was born into a situation where there was two people that had no business having kids and they decided to have kids like that's what it is they were in a bad situation and they brought kids into the equation and thought everything was gonna get better and it didn't. That's the situation that I live in. Like there were red flags from jump and they said, oh, let's have kids. That's the situation and that's the worst situation to have to grow up in. Two people that weren't meant to be forcing it, having kids, putting kids in the toxic environment 
and thinking everything was going to be sweet. No, absolutely not. So I'm dealing with the aftermath of these people and it is what it is. I'm really over it. I'm trying to move out. Hopefully I can get out within the next few months, hopefully. But like, I'm just over it. I'm really over it. Like I'm, I'm done. I'm done. There's no coming back from this. I just gotta move out, get my stuff together and get out this house. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Like this doesn't even feel motivating anymore because when this used to happen, when I would have one of these moments of like just straight yelling, just straight toxic environment, when I used to have these moments, this used to be feel like motivation. It used to be motivational and it would help me um, to like start posting more and to start getting my life together more. It's not motivating anymore. It's actually just draining. Like, I don't even feel motivated. Like, I feel like I'm already doing like for the past week or two as far as filming and content creation. I feel like I've been trying as far as like YouTube and having ideas of what I want to post. But my mental health is just like, I don't know, this is just draining me. It's like, I don't even, I think that I'm still going to, I really am still going to post this video. But this isn't what I want it to be in my video. But at the same time, this is literally my reality. And I, on my banner, if you guys see my banner, it's like self growth, locks, and lifestyle. And what... I wouldn't really be completely authentic if I didn't tell you guys or be one of the people to like say this is the reality of what I go through as someone who's living in a household like this because we see on TikTok all the time there's people that live in that are in similar situations as me but we don't see how it really is. We don't see the reality of like a day-to-day -day life. And so in this situation specifically today, I got into an argument with my mom over something that didn't have to start an argument. It was basically my dad. I don't like, I don't talk to him. I already told you guys, I haven't talked to him in the past almost a year now. And he doesn't know how to speak to my little sisters. So I was very upset that he spoke to my sisters in a certain way. And so I expressed that to my mom and here she go defending him and that's, I'm not going to go too much into the situation, but that's basically the gist of what happened. And that has started a whole argument because why are you defending this man? Literally, why are you defending him? When you're in a situation, I, it, it just, it really, it doesn't, it's not even what he does is not that deep to me because who he is or how he is, he's exact, he's going to stay that way. He doesn't think he does anything wrong. So whatever he does, I don't really care too much. But the thing that really triggers me is when she goes on and starts to defend the behavior. Oh, he didn't yell at her, so how he spoke to her was okay. That doesn't make any sense to me. So that really triggered me and that is what kind of started the argument because I'm just like, why are you enabling this behavior? Why are you allowing, oh, because he, because he's quiet and he doesn't really do much like he's good or he's his behavior is okay i don't think so stop trying to teach your kids that toxic behavior is okay because it's not because then they're gonna be in a position they're gonna be in a situation for a long time as far as like a relationship or just with friends in general any relationship you're teaching them that it's okay to enable bad behavior from people and that's not okay. I don't I am very against her trying to teach my siblings that this behavior is okay. Like it's not. And so I'm just done with her. I'm done with it. I'm done with this whole situation. I'm just over it. But yeah, that situation triggered me so bad, so I'm going to leave. Like I'm going to a different city and I'm staying with my friends. For the next few days and when i feel like coming back then i'll come back but i'm done trying to reason with her there's no coming back from this like she's stuck in her ways and that's okay but i don't have to be a part of it so i'm going to greensboro and i'm making my plans to hurry up and get the hell up out this house because i cannot stay here i cannot stay here 
Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention in the last clip, she didn't put her hands on me, but she definitely ripped that shirt literally off my back. Like, and I like that shirt. That was a good sleeping shirt. So now I'm I'm really mad about the shirt because why would you rip my shirt? Like she literally be trying to put her hands on me. And I hate when parents try to like, oh, they, be, they try to put your hands on you, but then threaten to call the police if you do it back. I never put my hands on her, but it's like, if you put your hands on me, I'm not going to sit there and take it. So I'm not saying I'm going to do anything, but I'm not sitting there and taking that hit and, and then leaving it alone. Like, no, that's not going to happen. So don't put your hands on me. Ooh, it is currently Sunday, September 17th. 1:32 p.m. So basically, for the last 24 hours, I pretty much just came to Greensboro to clear my head because it was just too much going on. The house was too heated. I needed to get out. So I came to Greensboro. I'm gonna hang out with my sister later on. I'm gonna edit this video for the next few hours, and hopefully, I can post it today. If not, I'll schedule it to be posted tomorrow. But yeah, I think that I just want to take the rest of today to just exist and to spend time with my friends and my sister because I don't know, it was a rough end of the week as you guys, as I just explained pretty much, but it is what it is. We will start over again tomorrow and then refresh the week, new vlog is starting or the next vlog is starting tomorrow so yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and end the video here i hope that this is a good video i feel like it it's it's kind of all over the place but it is what it is um thank you guys for watching if you made it to the end and i will see y'all in the next video bye